you know, I got a problem with these parents. Now, I am a parent. I'm a single father. Had to raise a daughter. Actually, I didn't have to do it. I could just went on ahead and abandoned her, but I love my baby. I love her so much that I wanted to make her a great person. A great. So I put in that work, I put that work into her. But I'm an educator and I got parents who don't even think about that, especially black parents. Don't even think about that. I got students that come to me, teenagers, don't even know the mayor of the city they had. I have them writing uh, two paragraphs and at least three words are misspelled. No, I have them write because you're not going to do this on a computer. You're not going to do this on, the, on your phone so you can get spell check and all that. I want to see if you can write for real. But you got parents, I don't know what to do. I don't, what you, why are you worried about, oh, the school not teaching? You know why the school not teaching? Because you're not, you're not teaching. You don't care. See, now here we go. Okay. He, he giving us a pound cake speech. You're right. Because see, my daughter is working on her PhD in chemistry. See, I took my daughter to the scrapyard when she was a baby. That's what we learned about chemistry. Aluminum, copper, what? All kind of different metals. See, y'all look at this as a junkyard. See, we looked at it as a classroom. She was Eight. Actually, she was six, seven. I lost my wife when she was, my baby was eight. So we kept on doing that. I always took my baby with me when I did my business or whatever. So she can learn business. But I always gave her homework. I gave her five pages of homework every day. Every day. Every day, including Sundays. And I checked it and everything because I'm going to make sure you have a real education. I'm going to make sure that I'm not going to just accept what the school's doing all that. You're going to be great. Period. Because you my baby. We need more parents to think like that. We need more fathers, mothers, whatever. I don't care if you're a single parent or whatever. Don't run that on me. Get you a library in your house and make sure your child can read. Make sure they can read. Then... Give them some skills to pay the bills. I was blessed with a grandmother. My grandmother showed me how to paint, how to landscape, how to, how to clean a house, how to clean mirrors, all that. And she put money in your pocket. See, that's why she's the greatest person I've met in my life. So I was blessed. My mom, she went to work at Chrysler 32 years. 32 years. One job, one month out of out of uh, high school. She had me at fifteen. She got a job right when she after she had me. She got a job, but my grandmother was there. They were teaching nothing but excellence. My mother made sure you gonna learn to read. Actually, she used to put me on punishment a lot when I was a kid. She used to put me on punishment all the time. I was so bad, but I was smart. But I was so bad, so she put me on a punishment for. Two weeks, no TV, no radio, nothing. Because I may have got straight A's and a three minus in citizenship. So now nah, I'm going to punish him for two weeks. So I sat in a room and I read and read and read and read. So now the baddest kid in school is, is winning the spelling bees. Trust me, like, how you winning the spelling bee? You bad? Maybe because you bore me to death. <laughs> 